Hey everybody. I'm going to watch for people to come in. Um, notifications are probably going out. But I know that I am live and we're doing an auction preview. Joe kind of gave me a job to do while he's outside. So waiting for, see if anybody wants to log in and watch the preview. Oh, anybody out there? The puppies are playing. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Let's get it out. Swallow it. Oh my goodness, Frodo is playing with a stuffed animal. And I think he just pulled an eyeball out, which I try not to give him. Hey Perlini. I try to not give him toys. He got a stuffed animal and he is actually eating the eyeball, I think. Is Joe rooting for the Buccaneers? Well, I Joe will be showing up in the comments here in a little bit. I seriously doubt it. He, I know he's watching for me. Um, I, we don't really follow professional football. College football is the thing here. Come here, Rox. Come come up. The puppy's gonna start. Well, Mama dog's gonna start. You can't make it. Come on, come on, come on, baby. She couldn't make it up the stairs. I'm good. I'm J Perlini. How are you? Hi, Virginia. I'm just sitting here in the family room. Joe's outside processing um, shipments for the sales we did on Wednesday and Friday. And so he decided to give me a job to do and kind of do a preview. So I'm going to go. We've got, here, let me show you. I've got boxes of stuff that we got from an estate sale, two estate sales. And Joe is gonna come in and um, show you guys some coins that we got at an auction last night that he will likely bring to auction. But I thought I would just go through these boxes with you guys. Um, I love unboxing things that we get from the estate sales. Um, some of it, one estate sale, I know, I know what we got. But the one that are, we have some that I have no idea what's in here. So you're going to get to see it for the first time. Oh, Virginia, I have, we have, right now we have 10 dogs in our house because our male and female Dotson had babies and they are six weeks old and they're a hot mess. And then we have Baxter. Let's see. Look, there's Baxter and Frodo with the stuffed toy. That's the daddy of the puppies you see over there, which will be going to their new home in two weeks. Then this is Ombre. That was my mom's dog. And we kind of rescued him after she passed. And Roxy's got something in her mouth. It's like watching kids. What do you got in your mouth? Sit down. No. All right, yeah, so 10 right now, one of them's in with my son, and it's a part, it's part, um, Dotson and part Beagle. I'm going to be quiet, we'll see. So the first thing, hey, there's Joe. I don't know, hey. what, I guess he's not going to come in. You can show him you're doing shipping. I'm doing um, shipping. Or no, you're not. What? Can you hear me? Yep, can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing shipping out in the eBay shed. Gotta talk louder. So I'm doing shipping in the eBay shed. I don't even know where the microphone is on this computer. So. Are you doing it from the computer? Yeah. Yeah, it's you can barely hear you. Perlini says hi. Perlini Hello. Says, hi. hi, Susan. All right, I'm just going to go in the Wait, background. Dogs. Go ahead. Oh, I guess he decided to go off. 
All right, so the first thing I thought he was really cute is this little frog bank. It says made in Taiwan. He lo definitely looks older. So some of these things um, you'll see in our auction. And I'll probably put them in um, groups because there's some smaller items. If for some reason you see something today and you want to make an offer on it, please just do so. Um, I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. So we got this. She's kind of cute. She feels like resin. Little girl holding her doll. And it's hollowed out. There's like a little hole there. But she's cute. Very cute. So that's in there. Now this... Instead of donating it, I will fill it full of vintage to modern jewelry, and we'll have that at an auction. Got lots of jewelry still left. Um, this, if you hear me say um, we probably won't auction this, but you're interested in it, just make an offer. This is something I probably would not auction off. Um, just a plain vase. Oh, you heard him fine. Okay, Susan. He's, I know he might jump back in here because he's, um, he is doing shipping. Oh, this is really pretty. Um, it's like got the Cafe de Monte flowers on it. And looking at them here, everything looks to be intact. It says handmade and hand painted by CDC USA. So it is, um, Definitely vintage, and the flowers and the leaves are in really good shape. It's dirty. Dirty. I'm still here. I I'm love unboxing too. I don't know. Just like to see what they got. Oh, this is a little. And somebody made this into a light, so her little candle lights up. They're pretty but they made it into a little lamp. Definitely would need an extension cord with that. So I probably would put her in with an angel lot. I'm gonna get blocked in here before too long. Sitting here in my family room, still in my um, house clothes. This to me, I don't know, it looks like precious moments, but it's not, Oh, it is stamped. Um, 19, looks like 83 precious moments. And it's a little light, too. Little church that lights up. Hey, Tammy. So, I was telling everybody, if they see something that they like, they can make an offer on it now. Um, other than that, I will probably just, you know, put some things in lots for auction. I uh, haven't been through most of these boxes already. Oh, Joe may want this. It's a measuring tape. I'll Let's take see. it. Oh, this is a pretty duck. This looks like something somebody made. But it's neat that they did it white. And then they have the, the brown, le the brown uh, leaves, feathers. That's kind of cool. Which one did you like? The precious moments thing? Now, there was a lot of angels and owls um, at this particular estate. Man, she's really dirty. She definitely needs a bath. I wonder if they kept her outside. But she is dirty. Yeah. Definitely, if you see something you like, make an offer. That's what I guess, you know, the benefit of showing up at a preview is you can um, make offers. Oh, this is a light, too, and it's an angel. She's really pretty. I don't have a plug really close to me or I plug her in. She's gorgeous. She's got, like, a luster look to her painting, paint. Can you see that? So pretty. Let me show in a little bird. Little 
word. So, seems like I see some more lights in this one. Now this one is plastic. It says, the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light. Isaiah 6019, and it is plastic. The other ones were ceramic. Has the little stain on it. So, what is this? This doesn't look like an ashtray. I guess it's, it could be a trinket box. Maybe there's a lid to it. A lid to that. I wonder if that's crystal. I can't tell. Can't tell. I'd have to ding it with a something else. Let's see. Here's a clock. An angel playing the flute. It kind of looks like Linux. But it, now it says it's made in China. So I don't think it's Linux. But it has a little clock. So definitely would have an angel lot. And one of the upcoming auctions. This, I can tell by it's not very heavy, is glass. That's something that um, I was telling everybody, if there's something that you see that you like, that I say probably I probably won't bring up to auction, um, let, us, let me know, make an offer, and I'll send it to you. Because this is something I probably wouldn't put in auction. Let's put that over there. What is this? Ooh, this is heavy. Oh, and it's got a stamp on it. It is crystal. I'm gonna put it's. It was made in France. You can read that part. Or yeah, it's France. Um, it is vintage. I think it's. I don't know where it says it's made in. I'll show you in a minute. But it's a little Christmas tree, like paperweight. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to read that or not. And I didn't think about having um, a magnifier while I was doing this unboxing. I've got like, Joe brought in like six boxes. And this seems to be a resin angel as well. Really beautiful. The flowers, bird. It's really cute. So definitely an angel lot is coming. Um, oh, this is heavy. This is heavy. This is Anchor Hawking, made in the USA. So that is something that I would auction. Um, it is clear glass, but it is Anchor Hawking. So it's on the label. So I'm just chilling here with the dogs in the family room instead of the hut. This says it's made by CB. It says made in China. She's really pretty. She's dirty, but she's pretty. Angel with a very light pearl, um, iridescent pearl overlay to the paint. The um, dress is pink, like a really light pink. You guys see her? Okay, she's pretty big. She's probably at least 13 or 14 inches tall. Let's see. Here's another angel. There's no markings. And this is another one that kind of reminds me of Linux because of the white and the gold trim. But there's no markings on the bottom. Um, if it's old enough, it probably just had a sticker and it came off. But she's, she's really pretty. Put that back. I'm going to end up having a, an order to show you guys everything. Oh, look. A whisk. I think I'll bring that to auction. I do have some ephemera. Um, this one says St. Nicholas. And... It is a story of Santa Claus's 
visit like the night before Christmas maybe and gosh there's a date on here it says New York Spalding and Shepherd um, 189 half Broadway and then it says 1849 1849 maybe that's made. oh it's that's the story with original cuts designed and engraved by Boyd hmm. so there's I have three of those I have three of these we'll probably bring it um, with an ephemera lot I'll look more into the copyright date really neat put together um, here is a baptismal uh, certification. It's older. Let's see, 1934. 1934. Really pretty. Too bad they don't do birth certificates and stuff like that now. Hey, Pammy. Mm -hmm. So here's another one that reminds me of, but it says made in China. So it's not. Linux, but it's a music box. So we have lights, um, just figurines, and music boxes. She's really pretty. And her flower looks in good shape. Oh, she's got a little nick on her finger. So that probably won't come to auction. Remember, if you see anything you like that you think you just got to have before auction, um, you can definitely make an offer here. I don't know. This doesn't have any markings, but it's um, divided plate. Very dirty. A lot of this stuff was just packed away, I think, in their garage. This is pretty. A little server with um, a snow scene, child, and a tr some trees. See that on there. All right, let me put some of this back in this box gently. And I'm going to pull over another box. I really like this piece. I like it a lot. Handmade and hand painted. Handmade and hand painted. So I'm going to put this back in here. Hey Frodo. Hi baby. That's the daddy of the puppies. Do you see him? He's my sweet boy. My sweet sweet boy aren't ya? Yeah. Ooh. All right let's pull over another box and see what we've got in Watch out back here. The dogs are warming, wondering what the heck I'm doing. Uh, this, this is some kind of tin, but it's full of letters and number of stencils, but it's tin. I've never seen any tin ones. Are those old guys if they're made out of tin? Huh. So there's a whole bag of those. Letters. Looks like looks like there's numbers in here too. And symbols. So a whole bag. Now this this is going to go in the trash. See, so whenever you do buy stuff, sight unseen from an auction, not an auction, a state, sometimes you just get trash. And that's got to go in the trash. That is not something we need. I might have Joe take it apart and keep the, um, keep the lighting cords and stuff. I can't even think. Okay, so this appears to be some kind of Avon product. It says Spirit of St. Louis. It's in its original box. 
Let me see if I can take it out. Oh, cool. So it is a cologne. Oh, it's in there. Good. I wonder if it's, oh. so it's original box, original styrofoam. It's the Excalibur Aftershave. Some of these I've heard can um, bring pretty good money, depending on what it is and the aftershave. And the aftershave is still in there. So it looks like the spirit of St. Louis. Okay, thing. Yeah, I, I've never seen, um, I've never seen those um, in the tin, and then it's got a little saying on it. So, it's in really good condition. It's got like a little flaw on the top. And like I said, it's in its original box, which is kind of cool. Um, in a previous video, I had a whole bunch of other Avon bottles, and so I'll we'll probably bring those. I'm going to research them a little bit and bring, try to bring the ones that um, warrant a little bit more money. Like the one, one of them that I had was a um, Peacock, and it does warrant a little bit more money. visit. Roxy. Roxy's the boss. OMG, the boss. So this is an owl and it lights up. Some really cool vintage lights that we've seen here so far. Let's see what else we got. Oh, here's another um, Avon and a original box. It's called Leisure Hours Unforgettable Foaming Bath Oil. And it appears to be new old stock. Never been opened. It's like this little thing around the top to protect it. It's got some, some condition issues on the little lid unless it's supposed to be like that. So it's a clock. Put that up. The box is really cool. I wonder if the boxes are worth anything. I know sometimes old boxes can be. I don't know what's in this box. The bottom of this box, it looks like there might be well, just a bag of leaves. I don't know. Oh, this is pretty. It needs, um, it's supposed to look like a lantern, I'm sure. Have one of those glass globes go over it, but it is a light. And it has the Capa, Capa de Monte style flowers. And I don't see any nicks or cracks. And that's really neat. I love these old lights. Old lights. Hmm. What else do I have? Ooh. Maybe Joe wear these. I'll have, maybe I can get him to wear these at auction. Oh, they're bright orange suspenders. <sighs> Unboxing. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. We got it in a bag. It's not the bag that it came in. Which I don't, pretty sure. But look at this. It's an owl bamboo sunshine. Isn't that cool? So it will probably go in one of the lots. It's 70 ish. Cool, cool, cool. Let me put it back in this. Oh, I don't know what's in the bottom of this box. Oh my gosh. Maybe there's something like really, really good in here. I wonder what this is. Anybody have an idea? I have no idea. It It's measuring angles. You see it? But it doesn't look like it could scoop anything. I wonder if it goes with something. Who knows? Who knows? Um, 
some kind of old nameplate. This box. Oh, it's a temperature thing. I remember these. It doesn't work anymore, but you could put it like on the desk and it would tell you the temperature and numbers. I don't think it works anymore. It looks great. So that'll probably go in the trash. Here's another one. We'll check them out. We'll see, I'll put them outside and see if they work. Here's some more of those 10 numbers and letters. Put those in the, box, in the bag. Oh, there's, wait, but wait. It looks like there's several sets of them. Cool. That's what's in the bottom of the box. So look at those. That'll be a nice, I think, lot to, oh yeah, just tons, tons of them. And they're that nice tin. Huh. Cool. Cool beans. Yeah, quite a few. All right, let me, there's more stuff in here. Oh, this thing will go. <laughs> it's seen better days. Its head is smashed. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> oh my goodness. There is, I'm not taking this bag out. It's a huge bag. Maybe Joe knows what these are. Some kind of bolt. There's a lot of them. There's a huge bag of them. Those screw into the oh, bottom of the cabinets. What? They screw into the bottom of cabinets to level them. Oh, okay. So they're or, feet. Yeah, or washing machines and well, stuff like that. Well, there's a lot of them in here. Oh, cool. Hey, I, just sold I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. And then a box of just screws. I think this might go to that. Leave it down. I wonder if this goes somehow, I don't know, to that. I don't know. I need to talk to an expert. So there's a bunch of those. Oh, it looks like a clip-on earring. Besides, you never know what's in here. So I'm going to put this back in this box. Oh my god! Those tins are heavy. Those big bags of tins are kind of heavy. Let's see. Oh, this was a this hat is still in there. But it has, I'll show you. What is it called, maybe? Um, this is from 1995, Design Library, New York, Victorian Rose, made in Korea. And it's a, it says Nelson, it's made by Nelson Graf, Graf, Omania. I'm gonna see if I can move you guys closer so I can. My back is killing me. But inside are all these, blank pieces from calendar a little bit of a calendar from 1997. Neat. I like old stationery. Now we did get a lot of these plates by Timeless Impressions. I don't know what year they are but there's a lot of these little plates like I love this mushroom design. They have a whole bunch of these. This one's got ducks. They're made in Illinois. No, the company's in Illinois. And then this is Georgia. And then this is California. So they must have distribution centers. Let's see. What is in this? Oh, ooh. I'm glad I was going slow because it kind of fell out the bottom. The box. I won't even show you the box because it's trash. But here's another angel that lights up that has the little light in it she is she might be vintage but she's more modern because she has the ul listed on it yeah i'm hope maybe those numbers will sell well for me 
I'm gonna wrap her back up. That box. I'm gonna need to go into the trash. Trash. Um. Put her right here. Huh, I wonder what these are. Dolls. Let's see what they are. They're in. They took the time to put in Ziploc bags. They have like a little like the bean beanies bean stuff butts. They're called bean bag dolls dollies. Um, let's see if there's. It's made by Exnon International. I don't see a date anywhere. Let me fix her little dress. Velcro. She, she's flashing me her hiney. They're kind of freaky looking in the face. Little beanie doll. They're probably about oh, four or five inches. There's looks like there's a few of them in here. Probably maybe put that with a plush lot or a toy lot. Here's another one. They're creepy looking. Some dolls just creep me out. There she is. There's a, see how they're like a beanie. Some of this, you know, we go through boxes a lot. I thought I would start, you know, whenever I go through boxes, kind of show you guys. If there's something you want me to bring to auction right away, I will. Otherwise, we will make lots like we normally do. There's another one. Just beanie dollies. Beanie dollies. I know that Joe's got, like I said, some silver. Um whenever he's ready for when he gets ready for a breakout there he's gonna come in a short there's another one that won't take them out those two some of these that one's the same as the first one um let's see what's this some kind of looks like a almost like a tea cart but it's for like either a tea light or a candle it's made by Trends, T-R-E-N-D-S. Let you look at the label. So there's that. Oh, here's some pictures. Oh, I remember these. Those are like, these are like Honko, I think. I don't know. My aunt had these like cherubs all over her house like this. Cherubs. Cool. Those are kind of cute. Some more plates. That's the same one. Oh, nose is itching. There's so much dust. Let's see. I've got some owl plaques. Looks like they kind of did some kind of decoupage, maybe. No. I remember having pictures like this in the 70s and 80s. Not necessarily owls, but made that way. Here's another doll. Let's see, what's this? Oh, she's pretty. An angel playing the harp. She's kind of heavy. Very pretty. No marking on the bottom. Let's see. This says cabin waterfall. Oh, here's a waterfall. Maybe I, had, um, maybe I need to do a waterfall lot or a couple of lots because these things are freaking heavy. And um, they're cute. Like if you want to just some kind of waterfall. Um. Oh, you can hang this one on a wall. It's heavy. Heritage Mint LTD. Um, it's run by batteries. This one's really cute. Looks like an old cabin up in the hills. The dog and everything. Heavy as all get out. Wow. 
we're gonna have to joe and i are gonna have to set one of these up i like waterfalls this is so cute it's got the old little oh you guys can't see me it's got the old little um truck and house and everything that's so cool all right let me put them back in a oh. I hate taking things out of boxes, and especially with styrofoam. Hold on, guys. I might give up. Yeah, I'm gonna give up. I just started. I'm gonna give up. Um, I don't have. Joe gets to do all the hard work. If you haven't figured it out, I'm gonna let Joe figure out how to put that back in that box. I'll put it down here. Man, that's heavy be a good piece to use on somebody if they broke into your house and they wanted you know you wanted to just clock them really good oh i think these are pheasants oh louis louis at the door oh, some more mushrooms mushrooms are very popular love the mushrooms maybe do just a lot of mushrooms. Ducks. Hold on a second. Hi, one is it? I thought the dogs were gonna bark. Oh, so this, I used to play this. It's a tether ball with a rope. All you would have to do is attach it to a pole. We used to play that. We had neighbors when I was a kid. We, um, my mom left us with um, the mom that was a babysitter and her kids were so freaking mean to us. Um, one of them tried to, Drown my sister in a pool. I got hit with a baseball bat across the stomach. I remember that. And we played tether ball, and they were rough, man. They they purposely would aim, pour your face, and swing it as hard as you could. I wonder. Look, it's it's Nephilimpicus. I wonder if that's for a chain pool, like for a kid's bedroom. I would put it. Shoot, I'd put it in my house. Um, or a fan pool. Here's an, here's another one like that. And it is Sesame Street. I'm trying to see. I don't know. I don't see. It. There's got to be some dates or something on the bottom. But I'm blind. It's hell getting old. So here's some toys. If you hear scratching, that's my dog that's outside wanting to in. And as soon as we let him in, they're going to start jumping all over each other and playing. Ooh, so, where's Judy? I should send these to Judy. She loves spiders. Some kind of decorations, maybe? I don't know. I don't know who these figures are. So they'll probably just go in a lot of figurines. Some super balls. Now, believe it or not, some super balls sell for good money. I have another lot of super balls, and there's a weird one in there. And it's like some kind of street, um, considered a street super ball. And it's got different angles on it and everything. And those can be worth quite a bit of money. So I may end up doing them. A bouncy ball, uh, super ball lot. See if I find that. Oh, here's a cardinal. A little figurine cardinal. 
put him up there. <sighs> he must light up. I don't know. He must light up. and Maybe he spins and lights up. I don't know. Like I said, you never know what you're going to get. Ooh. What is he? Made in the USA. So he is old. Um, Charm. Made by Charm Company. Um, looks like he's made in North Dakota. I'm trying to see if there's a date. I don't see anything. It just says USA on it. On the tag. Little. Looks like a lion cub. I don't know. Maybe that goes to a truck or something. Oh, look, a finger puppet. <laughs> finger puppets. If any of you guys have seen any of my other stuff, whenever I mess up, I say a finger puppet. Hello. His eyeball has popped out. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I might have to fix him and keep him for myself. Um, a Disney, a small Disney Rubik's Cube. Maybe put that in a Disney lot. You never know. Oh, some binkies. Those will go in the trash. We don't need any binkies. Oh, Dylan, I mean, not Dylan. Joe may want this. It's a little change purse. You know, he can carry around a little change purse. Um, made by West Path. And it is a Volkswagen bus. He loves stuff like that. Aside from him. Joe owns a Volkswagen. Ooh, a little sunglasses. Those will go in the trash. They're broken. Oh, look at these. Here's another. Here's Halifax Health. So this is advertisement. Those will go in the trash. Oh, it's a mustache keychain. Looks like it does something. It's got a speaker on it. I don't know. I can't hear it. Um, I am going to put a vintage keychain lot together. Here's another one. This makes a noise. I must ask you a question. Hello? <laughs> oh, hi, Woodbine. Thanks for stopping in. If you see anything you just gotta have, let me know. Make an offer on it. Otherwise, I'll be making lots for our auction out of this stuff. Right now, it looks like I got a toy lot. Oh, this is a whistle. It's an old metal whistle. Maybe I'll put that with the keychain. So I don't know. Would you put it with keychains? This looks like some kind of satellite, space satellite. Put that with a toy lot. Oh, it's an astronaut. So maybe they go together. What would I just find? They're in the same bag. Oh, wow. Fidget spinners. Whenever I was a teacher, I hated these things whenever they were popular because the kids would bring them in, they'd fight over them, it was a distraction. Um, it, it was good for some of my students that um, had um, attention deficit. It would kind of keep them focused. Um, but it was, it, it was very difficult. I had a teacher, I knew of a teacher that collected them all year long and on the last day of school, she made a crown out of them and because she never gave them back to the kids. This is some kind of, it looks like, and I'll look for it, it's got a battery in it. I wonder if it's, looks like the leg move, like some kind of beetle, but it looks like it might be remote control. That's kind of cool. I'll look for the controller. I haven't seen the controller thus far. Thus far. Oh, oh, I bet you that this goes with that space guy, too. I bet you this is his Land Rover. Um, what this is, but it works. 
I don't know. Give the kids toys back. My kids are 22 and 20. And they don't, they don't have, I, I wish I wouldn't have given away some of their toys when they were little, knowing what I know now. So this is Lego. It's a rest, it says rescue on it. So it must, it's some kind of rescue jet. I don't know. Do they have rescue jets? I guess maybe from the military. I don't know. Oh, my kids love, they loved Arthur. It's got an Arthur math game. Another jet of some sort. It's got some condition issues, but definitely old. Oh, this is cool. Some kind of little jet. I might have to play later. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of these pieces. I don't know. I don't know. There's that's in there. A shark. Baby shark. Doo -doo. Oh, no. It has to go. Mama shark. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Or grandma shark. How does it start out? Oh, this is a Toys R Us. Which, um, I've heard that some of the Toys R Us are coming back, but they went out of business. What is this? Look at this crazy thing. Some kind of, some kind of puzzle? I am easily entertained. That's why I'm married to Joe. Fast lane construction. It's a bulldozer. Well, first to me. Um, is this a front end loader? That's metal. That's metal. And then some of it's plastic. That's weird. I am going to figure out those white things go in to this somehow. I wonder if it's a, a blade runner thing. This, maybe this goes with it. Oh, this is a cool, this is, um, it's missing one of the pieces, but it's one of those puzzle, wooden puzzle jewelry boxes. And then, let me put it together. It's too bad it's missing a piece. Um, Colorado Rockies and is that oh the Red Sox huh so is a big Red Sox fan I'm a Cardinal fan some kind of hat ooh a space shuttle Oh, it opens up somehow, but it got a tape shut, so I'm not going to force it. It's the Discovery Space Shuttle. Aww. Seeing if there's a year on it. It just says made in the USA. It's got wheels on the bottom. The wheels on the bottom go round and round. What's in here? What's in here? It's got paws on it. Oh, it looks like something somebody made. Like whenever they Horizon Group USA date of manufacture 2015 and then it's signed by someone. But I thought maybe it was done by a kid, maybe not. Maybe it's no, maybe not. So it might be something special. I have those wood puzzles. I have buddy book had I used to have and I don't know where it's at. I used to have um, a flamingo. Not a flamingo. Dang it. A, a parrot. There's that. Some kind of train, North Fork, Folk, Southern. Um, looks like another tie for the tetherball. There are some CD games. 
in here and some music. Kind of plug that looks like it goes to a race car or something. It's a four hour charger, whatever it is. And then just a bunch of those pieces. Um, as in here. So we're kind of done with that box. All right, let's see what else I got. So, like I said, Jill just brought in random boxes. I'm being loud right now. Sorry, guys. That's toys. I'm going to end up taking a doll with the booty. All right, let me put this over here. Oh, ow! I just sat on the edge of the sofa. Instead of a doll, I took the armrest. Oh, she's kind of pretty. She's got really beautiful hair. Can you see that? It's beautiful. It feels like real hair. That's crazy. She's got the sleepy eyes. She is called... Um, and she's from Tiger Toys. She's from the Belica, B-L-I-C-A dolls. Hmm. Belica dolls. I don't know. I'll show you the tag in case you want to research it. You see that? But she's really gorgeous. Her hair is, I don't know. It feels like real hair. Wow. All right, look at this. Look at this, y'all. It's a cobra. He's huge. He is huge. Huge. From Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Ooh, this is a drone. Some kind of little drone. We'll have to see if it works. Joe and I will have to test that bugger out. I might end up flying it into a tree, as many trees as we got around here. So this looks like a box of old, I'm going to empty it, or a bowl of old cars. And there's this one. So this will probably be auctioned off in a lot. Some kind of airplane. Rip Slinger. Rip Slinger. It's really weird. And here's, oh, I had one of these when I was a kid. This is American Airlines. Um, some of these um, can be very pro very valuable. U.S. Air, a Airway, U.S. Airways. So that's what they, I guess, put up to, like, the um, door for you to walk in because there's steps. Rescue, some kind of rescue jeep or car. GRC, GRC is what it says. It's got, I wonder if this, it's got eyeballs on it. Would it go with car, like cars in the movie? It says Grand Prix from the Grand Prix on the back. I'm getting, am I bored y'all yet? Dropping cars. And maybe this is a reminds me of Firebird or Trans Am. But maybe that from the 80s. Car number seven on it. This says uh as a grant it says World Grand Prix on it as well. I bet you, I bet you these are from 
cars, like the race cars from Cars, the movie. Doesn't it look like it? That's what this has got to be. Here's another one. Oh, this is a Trans Am or Firebird. See that emblem on there? Yeah, these gotta be cars. I can't. It says something there. Gosh, I'm blind and I mean, I've had these glasses for three years. I don't think, I wouldn't think I would need to change them. Oh, my other dog's outside too. They're probably getting upset with me. It's got a spoiler on it. Woo. Wow, what's this? This is freaky. It's like a, looks like an armadillo or something. An armadillo car? No. It's a dinosaur. Oh, okay. Do you want to come in and show some coins? Come here. I'll be in in a minute. Okay. I'm at 700,000 cherubs right now. <laughs> that cherub lot we sold. Yeah, this has got to be Pixar cars. That they're weird feeling. They're like um, they're not pla like they're plastic, but they're like a hard rubber. That's kind of cool. Here's another one. So this must be like a Cars movies lot. There's another one. Ron Amy says yes, they're Disney cars. Okay. I figured once I saw, like, saw the eyeballs. This is a Mattel. And then there's this. This one. Perlini's keeping it straight. All right, so there's that. Oh, crap. Some fell out on my lap. I don't know if this is. There's another one. Thought I had them all. all right. And then there's a bag full of dinosaurs. I've heard these um, can go for. Like a, ooh. Now, I tell you a story. I wonder if this is based off of that. Um, they used to have a wildlife park down here near us in Ocala, Florida called Silver Springs um, Attraction. And they had an albino alligator. And it had the prettiest eyes, but it was kind of freaky looking because it was albino, like an albino. But I think it had blue eyes, so does that make it really an albino? I think albino, they have to have red eyes. That gator is now at uh, Gatorland in St. Augustine. Oh, okay. Did it have blue eyes, honey? Red eyes. Red eyes, so it was true albino. Yep. So, there's probably a good... 20 different dinosaurs in here. Some of them are marked. And you know that's important too. Like that one's marked, but I don't know what it says. Frodo went outside and now he's trapped outside. Which is good because he would probably be trying to get these from me. He loves any kind of toy. Is that a Triceratops? Is that what that is? Oh, uh, these pretty colors. Well, this is that one that's mean in Jurassic Park that gets out and it bangs into everything and tries to eat things. Eat people. Or it does eat people in a movie. 
There's this one. Oh. I remember seeing this in Jurassic Park. I wonder if these... This one's got markings on it, so it's very possible. Okay. It's some of them definitely... Or is this... What is this? Is this the Triceratops? What's the flying one? I am not good. Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl, that's what it is. What's this one? I know that they're the ones that are like... Taurus. Lo they're very loving. Like, you can make it. It's a Baranotaurus, honey. I heard you. Okay. Barely, but I heard you. Yeah, these definitely have some markings on it. We'll check it out so we'll know exactly what. I am having a lot of fun. I don't get to play with toys anymore. My kids are grown. Um, Joe is boring. He, he would actually probably play we probably could sit down on the floor and play with these and not get bored for quite some time so there's two of those in there so this might be a some of this might be Jurassic Park um I'm thinking it might be because didn't they like here's some fence and stuff maybe that's fence for the Jurassic Park I don't know um, this is kind of cool. Let's see. I saw this in there. Oh, yeah. So, this is Weeble Wobbles. And I actually have the Weebles. The Weeble Wobbles. This is from 2010, so it's not vent the, the vintage one. Sun's like noise in there. So, here's one of the Weeble Wobbles. I had these when I was little. I think it was Joe that said he... Did you say you had never seen Weeble Wobbles? No, I had a bunch of Weeble Wobbles when I was a kid. I love Weeble Wobbles. Weeble Wobble, but they don't fall down. So, that must be the bus driver. Is that the bus driver? I don't know. Anyway. So, there's three of them. And I guess they can play in the truck. How's that truck work? It looks like it's... Oh, you push it. Weebles. Weebles. Wobble. Okay. You push it and they go round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. It actually goes. The bus driver... The bus driver... Doesn't the bus go... Bus driver say, come on in. Or I don't know. I thought I knew it. Apparently not. I used to know it. Being an elementary school teacher. Oh, wow. This is so much fun. I like the toys. Just back in there. These um, are sharks, eels. Looks like eels, penguins, oh, wow. dolphins. Yeah. Penguins. I wonder if they're from Happy Feet. I'll come to look because they are. Do they have sand on them somewhere? I thought they did. <laughs> look, this one is one that's sliding down the snow. <sharp inhale> Dolphin. So there's quite a few different dolphins and penguins in here. Like. Is that an emperor penguin? No, the emperor penguin, doesn't it have the red on the top? I don't know. I don't know. Joe's full of useless information, so he probably knows. I'm pretty sure Joe could win a trivia contest on TV. Little polar bear. So you kind of get a hint. Look at all of the different... Ooh. Is this, what is that? He's prehistoric. Did you see it? Ooh. I look like a crazy person with my hair like that. I don't know what that is. I don't know. He's some kind of prehistoric one. But there's the two of them. They can fight.
Do you, do you hear your dog going outside? I hear him. I don't want him in. Here. I, I'm not going to get. Nobody's going to get him in. This is. Yeah. Is this a humpback whale? Uh, it's either a humpback or a blue whale. You want me to let him in? Here. An eel that looks like edamame. Don't eat it. Do you want me to let the dog in? You can come let the dog in. Hammer. That's a hammer hose. Hammerhead. Hammer hose. Hammerhead sh shark. Hey, boatman. Boatman. Just showing some stuff that, you know, may come up in auction um, this week. Do you see something you got to have today? You make me a good offer? Let me know. It's not be we'll putting some things in lots. Okay, here come the dogs. Oh my gosh. Are you ready to show stuff? Thomas the train. Oh, did you? Do you want to show? Him? Joe just got some coins last night. This is all Thomas the train. Really nice with the magnets. Oh, you're not gonna. I thought maybe you could come sit here. Because, huh? Cause you're a no, I'll move. And then I know some people collect dice, and there's all kinds of different ages in here. So I'm gonna let Joe sit down because I might be getting boring, but he's got some coins that he wants to show you. There's some tigers and lions and a giraffe. And a baby monitor. So we'll probably be doing. Some good toy lots here shortly. What is he barking at? Is he just on the bed being a weirdo? Both of them. Oh. We've been watching Cobra Kai, or we're finished watching the off seasons. But look at this Cobra. All right, here's Joe. I'm going to get a drink while he talks. Watch out. Watch out, you animals. I think I actually just bent it over like an old person and it. You're moving them all in the camera. That's all right. No. Okay. I'm coming. Only room for one over there. Hi, guys. So we went to an auction last night and... I ventured into buying some silver coins to bring to auction. I mean, you pretty knowledgeable about coins. Yeah, I'm, I know a little bit about coins. I know how to not overspend. So, but I did buy this last night, and when I got home, I put it on eBay, and it sold today already. I did take a best offer on it. But it's a swank sterling <clears throat> and uh, has a 1922 piece silver dollar in it, 90% silver, and then the money clip and the part holding in the coin is all sterling 925. So, coin's 900 silver, and then the clip is 925 silver. But sold it on eBay already today, so that will not be coming to auction. But I did get, let's see what I got here. I got two Walking Liberty half dollars. Let me find the camera. There's the fronts. There's the backs. They're a little worn, but they are 90% silver. I have to put my glasses on. So this one is 1918. And this one is, I believe, 1917. So worn pretty good. But I think these coins, these are one of my favorite coins, the Walking Liberty. And I think they are absolutely beautiful, even when they're worn. I think they're actually prettier when they're worn because they get that patina to the uh, dips and valleys in the coins. And then I have 
a another 1922p dollar, which is just like the one in the money clip. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see if we can get it without a without a shadow on it. Yeah. And there's the back, has the bird on the back. And then I have two Morgans, which is probably my second favorite coin. This first one is a 1891 Morgan O from New Orleans Met. And again, they're worn coins, but I think that just adds to the character of the coin. And then I have an 1899 Mint Mark O, New Orleans Mint. So I'll be bringing these to auction and hopefully I got them at a price good enough to uh, pass them along to y'all. And then I also got a bag full of Mercury Dimes. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fifteen Mercury Dimes in this bag. Um, 1945 or 46. I need to get a loop out to see them. My eyes are not good, even with glasses. Oh, And I got another bag of dimes, mercury dimes. Oh. Look at this fancy dancy thing she's been toting around. Yeah, that doesn't hurt me. Gotta start slow and then draw it up to you. After this, I don't need anything else to show. Um, looks like these are all 1945. Uh -oh. I used some last night to buy some soda. Yeah, that wasn't smart. Ugh. Looks like there's 11 in here. So 1945 Mercury's. And we'll bring them to auction too. Hey, Shelly. Shelly, oh my gosh. Maybe I will see it this time. Do you want me to bring some bows to you for auction? Yeah. Or would you? All right, I'm going back to shipping. Would you like for us to just maybe FaceTime you? Because I know you like bows, and I got some handmade bows. Are you going to sell the coins? Yes, we are going to sell the coins. Oh man, um, are you gonna do it Friday? Uh, yeah, I'll do Friday. He'll do them Friday because um, I don't know enough about them to talk to you guys and um when he shows them he can tell you more about them so we'll be doing it on chris's chris and jj's channel on friday mm -hmm. huh mm -hmm. at noon eastern time okay okay email me i can send you pictures of what i've got so guys that is i mean we've got other stuff I can unbox, but that's everything that Joe brought into me. 
And right now, because I've unboxed it and kind of laid it around, we've got a mess going on. I've, I've got some other things. I'll show you these real quick. And then um, we'll kind of head out. Now, this is a vintage pen and pencil set by, let's see, what did he do with my, here it is. By Bankers, I don't know, Bankers pen, and I have a cross set that I'll try to find and bring. Um, I've got some owl pictures. Some of these are signed. This one's signed, it says Brad on the bottom. Um, this one says JH on the bottom. Um, this is a, a needlepoint. And I usually don't keep posters, but it's in its original um, laminate. And it is made in the USA, so it is vintage by Springbox. So I'm going to, I'll bring that. And then this one is signed Lolita. And they all appear to be some kind of prints. Um, no, Julie, um, we're not auctioning. I was doing an unboxing boxing for the auction. But if um, you see something, if you go back and look at it and see something that you're interested in other than the coins, um, you know, shoot me an email and I can and make me an offer. And we can do something like that for you guys. So, um, that concludes the unboxing for today from two of our estates. And, um, yeah, JJ is Big Barn Auctions. And I think it's, it's so Dash, wonderful. Chris, and JJ. Um, if Joe can hear me, he can drop a link before we head off. Um, this is my cute little magnifier. I got that's I have two of them. I don't know where the other one's at, but I thought it was really cute. Um so Joe, are you back in the shed watching me? Yes. Can you drop uh Chris and JJ's link for Friday? Um that's where you can if you haven't subbed, go ahead and sub to them because what will happen is he will auction Friday this coming Friday and Joe can tell you, I don't know if it's then T and then us or us and then T. But we're going to start rotating the channels. Um, hopefully to get our, you know, we'd like to get our subs up and um, of course do that for Chris and JJ because they will start doing auctions and live previews like this. Um, sometimes we'll do live previews. Sometimes I might tape them. Um, comment and let us know if you like the live unboxing previews or if you'd rather us just do an unboxing and do a pre-recording. Like Sorry. Okay. Um, let's see. So I think he's trying to drop the link. Yeah. There's Chris. So that's Chris and JJ's link I just dropped. Big Barn Auctions. Go over there, sub, hit the notification bell. Um, there's, is that, that's Big Barn that yeah, he just dropped. Barn. And then of course, you know ours. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps us out a lot. Hit that bell, bell that says all so that you get notifications when there's any kind of live video um, coming out or any video that we have. Um, yeah, we'd love to have more subs. Now, remember, on our channel and on JJ and Chris's channel, we do not require um, a blue wrench. We just ask that at the end of our auctions, you or, or whenever you're finished, to email us what you won, the lot that you won. It, even though we write it down, sometimes uh, we get busy and we forget to write down a name or something like that. So if you email us, it helps us out a lot. 
So yeah, you hear the babies. Do you guys want to see some of the puppies? Here, I'll see. Let me go. They're awake. So let me let me go grab a couple. Hey, baby. So here, here's two of the babies, two of the babies. This is Remy and Sassy. Sassy has one blue eye and one brown eye, and we're not sure about Remy yet. And they go to their new forever home in two weeks. So there's two of them. They're getting so big. Getting so big. Yeah, say hello. Come here, Sassy. That's Remy. The parents already named it. And this is sassy because she is quite sassy. See her blue eye and her brown eye. <laughs> Mama's like, don't touch my puppies. It's okay. I got them. It's okay, Mama. Come here, Junior. And this is Junior, because he looks kind of like his daddy. That's what we call him. We don't know what the um the parents are going to call him. And these are Dotsons. Their um, mama is a tweenie, and their daddy is a mini. So they're not going to be very big, but he's the fluffiest. And he's the craziest. Let's see if I can get him to play with me for a minute. Hey. Uh, he usually is like laughing up the air. Let me get the last two. Come here, babies. Come here, Modelo. Come here, Chapo. Come here. Come here. Okay, so we call this little precious girl, we call her Modelo, after my favorite beer, and um, she's super sweet. She, she's the smallest, but she isn't very small compared to the others. She just looks like it. And this is Chapo. This is going to be our puppy. He's got two beautiful blue eyes. So this is Chapo. <laughs> yeah, some of them are very tiny. Um, the last, the one that I showed, um, that what I called Junior has the big claws, and he's the biggest for sure. But he shouldn't get over twelve pounds. Come here, Mama. Come here. Oh, Waxy. She wants me to put him back. She's like, I don't want you to hold him. Yeah. All right, I'll put him back. Mama, put him back. Let me go put him back before she has a fit. So they are six weeks old. And they got their first shots yesterday. And Friday... The fifth, I think we go in right before auction, and they get their last shots, and they'll start going to their forever homes. I'd be sad whenever they're gone, but we will also be very happy when they're gone. So, because they're a lot of work. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Wood Mine. That's horrible. Yeah, we lost um, one of our dogs. I think it's been two years and it was unexpected and it just about killed us. Um, she was very, very, well, they're all precious to us. Like I said, right now I have two dogs in the house. And this is mommy. She won't give me kisses. This is Roxy. Yeah, it is the worst pain for sure. For sure. 
I, we weren't expecting it, had to take her in and had no time to come to terms with that she was going to pass. Um, it just was very heartbreaking. So I used to be a foster mommy. I used to foster um, puppies and kittens that if they weren't fostered would be euthanized. So I would keep them until they were through all their shots and then um, they would adopt them out. So I, uh, I love animals. Um, I think at one point in our house, we had the five dogs. <clears throat> we had the five, no, three dogs, a parrot, um, a lizard. What was that called? Was it a dragon? Something dragon. Joe will know. Bearded guy. Um, hamsters and fish. And whenever I taught, um, we, we had a fish um, and a guinea pig. I had a guinea pig at once. We also had a pig that we were raising. Um, we raised a pig for food, though. Yes, bearded dragon. That's what it is, Jade Moon. Oh, did you? Oh, they're so much fun. Um, he passed away, but we think that he passed away because when Joe and I met, I had moved into my house. I had bought a house and moved into it and lived there for about 10 months. And then Joe proposed and um, I sold my house and then we moved um, to another house. And I really think the transportation got to um, got to him. Um, all of our dogs are rescues except for our Dotson. Um, Louie is a Dotson Beagle and he's rescued. Our sweet Dixie that passed away, she was a, res a rescue. And um, Baxter is a rescue. And Ombre, my little guy up here, like I said, he was my mom's and she passed away. So I took him in. He has no teeth, so if you ever see him, he's got his, usually his tongue is hanging out because he can't hold in his teeth. Um, I love Dotsons. I had one when I was little. And so we got um, Roxy from a friend of ours. And um, we got Frodo, the black and white daddy here. We got him from a lady that was a breeder. And... Uh, she appeared to be a very good, responsible breeder, and it turned out um, he wasn't as healthy as we thought. I think I'm sitting on your dimes. Um, nope, you got them in your hand. Is there some right there? Yep, I'm sitting on them. Sorry, guys. Joe's coming in for his money. Maybe he's afraid I'm going to use it for soda or groceries. Oh, he's got to ship one. He sold one. So, um, dachshunds can be very stubborn. Um, ours were fairly easy to train, like, as far as potty training. Because we have the other dogs, and they just go out with the other dogs. Um, Frodo, because he's still intact, he will have accidents um, every once in a while. But he, he's, get, you know... He's probably the most stubborn. Whenever I leave the house for a few hours, which is not often, I'm pretty much homebound. <clears throat> he will purposely go to the bathroom um, to get my attention because it's only when I leave. They're crazy that way, aren't they? Oh, that's so sweet, Shelly. That's sweet. And, um, so I, ha I have a great love for animals and so does Joe. Um, Joe had a Komodo dragon at one point and, um, what else did you have? What was that other crazy animal that you had? I never had a Komodo dragon. Oh, that's not a Komodo dragon. What was that <laughs> thing that you had? I had a huge iguana. No, that fuzzy thing. Oh, the Kodamunde. 
Dakota Monday. I never saw either one of them. So he had those before we were together. Uh, we use bells um, with Roxy and uh, um, not, and we did it with Frodo too, but mainly with Roxy. We hung bells on our door and every time I would take her out, I would ring the bell. Um, and so she started going over there and ringing the bell. And sometimes it would be a big pain in the rear because she was just going over and ringing the bell all the time because she just wanted to go outside. But um, the, they say the bells work really well for a lot of uh, dogs whenever you're training them to go to the bathroom. Dachshunds are very smart too. Um, that comes along with stubbornness. Um, like Joe, he's very smart. But, you know, he's stubborn. I tried to train him with bells, but it didn't work. I'm not stubborn. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not stubborn. Actually, I'm very stubborn. Joe will, Joe will let you tell you that for sure. Well, we've enjoyed spending time with y'all. Make sure you um, stop by on the auction on Wednesday. I believe that I said it's the 27th from 3 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. And then this Friday, we will be on Big Barn Auctions with Chris and JJ. So make sure you subscribe and hit the all um, bell. Same for us because on Fridays, we will be rotating the channels through P, us, and um, Big Barn. And that way, you'll know where we are on Fridays. So you guys have a, a great rest of your Sunday. Thanks for sharing it with us. Love you guys, and we will see you soon. Have fun. Bye. Okay.